They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs win the World Series. Brian makes the play. It's over. And the Cubs have finally won it all. 8-7 and 10. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league. Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with a bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. live as we count down to the start of game one let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your New York Mets Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, there aren't a lot of guys with the talent and determination of Dustin Pedroia. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Noah Syndergaard gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Swing and a miss at a ball down. And oh, to be on the beach in Hawaii tonight. 43 degrees at first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Ligares. 
He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first down of the inning. Xander Bogarts. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Two for three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Out in front here is Bogarts as he drives this one foul down the left side. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball right and hit it. Mookie back. At the plate, Mookie Betts. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Runners on first with one down. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, can't get on first base if you strike out. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Red Sox leave one, and now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, they have to be very happy so far with the performance they're getting out of that guy in the eighth spot. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Chris Sale is on the mound here on the road for game one of the World Series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, his last outing, he gave up four walks. Now, sometimes I think you nibble on the corners when you need to. I just thought he didn't have good stuff or good command. So we'll see what the command and execution looks like in this game. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox, brought to you by Majestic. I'm looking at Hanley Ramirez. They thought he was going to be a project, and what he's done has become a pretty good defensive first baseman. Now, we've seen him at short. We've seen him at third. But first base, he's starting to look comfortable. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's gone two for eight. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Shot toward the gap in left center. Heading for second is Reyes. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Coming to the plate now as Drupal Cabrera. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. 
Hard hit at third. Sandoval fields it cleanly. A quick out number one. Batting third. Right fielder. Michael. Now with the plate, Michael Conforto. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Matt, this is a big at bat right here. Big half inning right here. They shut him down at the top of the first, and now you come in, you got a chance to get a lead. This place is already ready to erupt just to enthusiasm from the fans. They score a run, it's going to go crazy. And he'll be back in standing up. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A little bouncer that winds up foul. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. One out and a runner on second base. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Lifetime against Chris Sale. Three for 15. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, I like Jerry Hillsdale, and so do the hitters and pitchers. We won't see a whole lot of arguing with his strikes on. He's one of the better guys in the league. Really consistent. Just inside off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. At the plate, Wilmer Flores. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Set and the two and one pitch. The slider that just grabs the outside corner. It's a big at bat right here, Matt. You have to get to him early in the game. I know there's two outs, you got to run the score position, but the good pitchers get stronger the deeper they go in the game. Grounded back up the middle, and this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning, and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. In now, David Wright. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here's the 1-1. A high fastball is in there. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. 
pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Looking to minimize the damage here. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Sale sets. 2-2 two -two on its way home. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another try at 2 2. Swing and a little tapper. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We we'll move ahead to the top of the second now. Mets out in front, two to nothing. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Again, he sends it out of play. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Here's Chris Young. Ready on one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Hitless in three at-bats. Bases are empty here with two men out. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're still down. It's 2-0. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. And he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Hit out towards second. Throw by Pedroil be in time, and there's your first out. Batting ninth. Catcher. Noah Cindergaard. In now, Noah Cindergaard, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. One out, nobody on. Hot 
that shot down the line. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Very weakly on the ground. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Well, you know AL pitchers must love pitching in NL ballparks because all of a sudden they're only facing eight legitimate hitters in the lineup instead of nine. Kind of makes you wonder why any free agent pitcher would ever decide to pitch in the AL, doesn't it? Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Sale gets the sign. Here's the 2 1. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Pitch is piling up 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Bouncer down the line. But that one rolls foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Reyes. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. He's been making it look real easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might want to think about pitching around him the next time he steps in because he looks locked in for this one. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The right fielder, number 30. Michael Ready for another Conforto. chance? Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Weak grounder back to the mound. Fielded cleanly on the first. And the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. After two, it's a 2-0 ball game. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. One for three. Here's the one and one pitch. Back up the middle. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Well, here he goes again. Here's that guy. A leadoff nice. base hit. He's having well, a nice postseason. He is really Great locked in right now. Sale. One and one, here it is. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Hey, a great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, 
make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Reyes on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Standing in now, Dustin Pedroia. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for out number two. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogart. Digging in to try it again, Xander Bogarts. One for one after a single this first time up. Hard liner toward short, but this won't get past the glove of Reyes at short, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. They're down two to nothing. Striding in once again, Joanna Cespedes. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So, an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. Well, here they go again. A single start the third four. inning. Now, they've already got a few Wheeler. runs on the board. Okay. This is exactly what they wanted to do stay aggressive, keep attacking, and here they are at the leadoff guy in the third. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. Outside. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Here's the one and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. In now, David Wright. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Runner at first here, one man out. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a change up here. The two two now to right. On the ground up the middle. Bogarts to his left. He's there. He'll go to the back for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. After fielding this one clean, you see he tries to take it himself at second base, but they just can't turn the double play. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. A runner on first with two away. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here comes the one two from Sale. And this is popped up, back behind second. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. Mets strand one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Here's Mookie Betts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lined hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it. Stayed with it. Now hard batting. line drive. The first base. Great game plan. Henley Ramirez. Stepping in now, Hanley Ramirez. It swung out and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hard on the ground towards short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Up next for the Red Sox, left fielder, Andrew. The left handed Benintendi. hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit out towards second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Into the box now, Chris Young. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting, the pitcher, Noah. Digging in for his second at bat, Noah Syndergaard. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, he really struggled in the first inning. Say struggle is kind. He really had a bad first. But, man, he's made a nice adjustment now and is really starting to dominate this game. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Softly on a line to third. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Well, this is the advantage of playing in the National League park. You bring the National League pitcher to the plate and he gets a base hit. Playing the game, he's been playing all year. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Grounded foul. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Three for three on the night. He must be seeing the ball well under the lights. That single right the there just kind of lets me think he's Second locked baseman. in pretty good. As dribble, Cabrera.
into the box as Drupal Cabrera and it misses three and one now that's a good take on that fastball there you know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those good lead there at second here's the pitch in the air out to left waiting on it is Benintendi he's got it and there are two down now and no tag at second he'll head back there with two away now the right fielder number 30 Michael Conforto stepping in and ready for another shot Michael Conforto two men on two away here in the fourth and some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right handers up and throwing. Hit down the line at first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets, but they're on top two to nothing. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Conforto waits on it. One out. Now batting. Catcher. Blake Swihart. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. A base hit in his first trip. No runs, three hits. And no errors for the Red Sox to this point. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. And that's out number two. The pitcher number 41, Craig. So stepping in, Chris Sale comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded fouled off to the right side. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's your one Cespedes. Last time through was a base hit. Here comes the one two from sale hit on the ground to short Bogarts has it and he's retired here one away well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it digging in once again Wilmer Flores he's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Faces are empty, one man out. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. If he can keep hitting the corner with that two seam fastball, it's going to be really effective. But if he leaves it out over the middle of the plate, it could be a dangerous spot. Left field and deep. 
Benintendi ranging back. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series. And the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. That was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Stepping in now, David Wright. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. The 2-1 and one on its way. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this gets down, so it should be extra bases for right. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Yeah, after a while, the good hitting team is going to start catching up on that hard stuff. You can see that he tracks this thing all the way and just rips it to the wall. He's in the second with a double. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Your Joe Kelly play. is going to take over now here in inning number Red five, Sox. so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Joe Kelly. Travis Darno will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Fastball down near the shoe tops. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Now, that's not fair. You're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. He's set. Here's the three and two. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Whoa, he hit that one a little bit too hard. Line drive single, but the runner at second had to hold up. So he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. In now, Juan Ligares. Fastball called strike, one and two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Ready to deliver the one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And now a double play ball perhaps for Pedroia. 
And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. On to the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. And now they'll get him at third base, trying to move up further, but a run is already across to score. Ready once again, Noah Sindergaard. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. and two strikes here it is chop foul over towards the dugout another one two delivery and another foul ball. Two out here and a runner at second. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Swihart is after it, but the batter's going to take first easily after striking out. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Two and one now. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Two men are on with two men out. There's that heavy sinker for strike number two. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. One Boston error, and a couple of men left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets four, and the Red Sox nothing. Rene Rivera is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number 45. Rene Rivera. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Ready for another chance? Xander Bogarts, one for two on his line so far in the game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Grounded to third. There to get it is right. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Digging in to try it again, Mookie Betts. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. 
you know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Skied into very shallow right. Conforto moves over, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 4-0. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly has seen him go three for nine. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. A runner at first with no outs here. There goes Cabrera. In the air, down the left field line and deep. On the run is Benintendi. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The left fielder number 52, Johannes Cespedes. Here's the left fielder, Johannes Cespedes. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. The two-two one more time. Now a swing and a miss, maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. First baseman number four, Wilmer. Digging in and looking for more, Wilmer Flores. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly, hitless in three at-bats. Ready with the one and two. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Mets leave one, but they're in front four to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look there at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Up next for the Red Sox, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The pitch. Grounded foul off to the left near Brian Butterfield in the third base coaching box. Trying to send him packing for the second time. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto racing back. Gone into the upper tank. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. That home run, they're still down a few, but he's got to be feeling pretty good about that. A home run in the World Series, and maybe this will be something that gets this team going.
Standing in now, Chris Young. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And a fastball just a bit up. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And that swung on and missed as Young punches out, and that's out number two. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Ready for another shot now. Pablo Sandoval, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Pulled toward right center field. Conforto giving chase. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Ball swung on and hits a Cabrera at second. Oh, and Cabrera bobbles it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Mets four and the Red Sox one. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. Hitless in three at-bats. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw by Pedroia be in time, and there's your first out. Now batting, catcher, Rene Rivera. Digging in, Rene Rivera. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And he lays off again, ball three. In there, and it's full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a line drive, but this is foul near the seats. Now a bouncing ball hit to Pedroia at second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Center fielder number 12, Juan Lagara. Here's Juan Lagares, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. We're in the seventh now, 4 to 1 our score to this point. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Love that pitch right there. And he executed it perfectly. A big 
arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Robbie Ross will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Sandy Leon will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Sandy Leon. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Noah Sindergaard. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. T.J. Rivera will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. Sent on the ground out to second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Met strand one as they hold on to a four to one lead. AJ Ramos has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. A.J. Ramos. Stepping into the box, Sandy Leon. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Aye. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Sandy Leone goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, Watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Eighth inning, 4-1 to one is our score. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Addison Reed is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Addison Reed. Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. The 2 2 pitch. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Ben Intendi comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for round number one. Number 13, second baseman, has Drubal Cabrera. Here now is his Drubal Cabrera, career history with Addison Reed. He's gone two for six. He's taken him deep once. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. 
the right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. One and two now. Reed's ready. Here's the one two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ben Intendi in pursuit. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it four to one. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Jerry's Familia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's Mookie Bass. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia who will try to close the door in this one. One and one, here it comes. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. And this will be fouled away. Here's another one, two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera is there, one away. Up next for the Red Sox, first baseman, Henley Ramirez. Here's Hanley Ramirez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. The two one pitch. Drilled to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Andrew Benintendi is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow and he's got it to 3 and 1. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Runners on first with one down. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He spoils another one and will do it again. The payoff pitch one more time. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Digging in now, Chris Young. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Well, Matt, that was a huge at bat. He gets the single right here. There's two out in the ninth. The and it brings the tying run to the plate. Pablo Sandoval. Two down, runners at first and second. Into the box, Pablo Sandoval taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does as good a job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch how he pitches on the corners and tries to get himself out of this. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. Oh, and he misses it. 
and to score the runner from second. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Yeah, I'd like to see this one again because at first glance it looked like a routine play. And yeah, it was. He just misses it somehow and two runs come across the score. That's beyond costly right there. Brock Holt will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Brock Holt. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw on the first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken their first step as they claim game one here at home. This ball game is over. Yeah, if that relief performance were a car, it would have had some wobbly wheels on it. He gave up a couple of runs, but he still gets the save, getting that shaky car across the finish line after all. ball game all throughout winds up a slim one run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. It's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ballgame. New York win the World Series opener and take a 1-0 lead. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on ten hits, one error, and eleven runners left on base. For the Red Sox, three runs on seven hits. With one error, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and four minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field. 45,000. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's